A massive five-alarm fire on the south side of Chicago tonight destroys an historic building. At one time, it was the old Pullman freight car factory. Good evening, I'm Diane Burns. And I'm Ron Majors. John Drury is off tonight. That fire is still burning at 111th and St. Lawrence in the Pullman area. ABC 7's Rob Johnson is there. This fire broke out around 6.30 this evening, and within a couple of hours, it went to five alarms, the largest fire there is. And while two abandoned buildings are now destroyed, there's concern for a third building, a paint factory, which, if ignited, could prove to be an explosive situation. It's an enormous fire that's had its way with an abandoned steel mill and the historic Pullman clock tower. Due to the strong winds, a paint factory just to the north is in danger of igniting due to the presence of paint and possibly benzene. We do have some problems on the north end with some exposure uh, due to the wind blowing embers down there. Uh, that is uh, being controlled to the best of our abilities. Nearby residents said they heard what they thought was an explosion. Hours later, plans for this historic site, a museum and shopping center, have literally gone up in flames. What I heard was when I came out here, I saw it on fire, and I did hear something like an explosion. One of the major focuses on this area is economic development, and this was a major building and area where we had planned to rebuild an indoor shopping mall. And fire officials say they're not sure yet how this fire started, but they are investigating, and they say it will be a very long night. Reporting from the South Side, Rob Johnson, ABC 7 News. Another fire, this one in a...